Well hello again everybody, this is Koo from the Import Forums bringing you my next review. Uh, this time we've got another one of uh, Rust replicas, awesome prop replicas. It's a Terminator 2 CPU flask, um, as seen from the film Terminator 2, obviously. Um, before I start, I think it's time I gave Rust a plug. Um, obviously I've done, this is well, this will be my third review for him now, and I've never really said how you can get in contact with him. Um, he, no he normally offers his things for sale through the replica prop forums, um, but I know registration can be quite difficult to get in there to become a member. Now, Russ does have his own website, which is www.rbreplicas.co.uk. That's R for Romeo, B for Bravo, replicas.co.uk. There you're about to email him. Um, I mean, for an idea of what he's about to do for you, I mean, anything made out of aluminium, you know, prop wise. Custom machine chroming, um, even custom made stands for your props. The best thing to do is just just email Russ, tell him what you're looking for. Um, if it's something new which he's never done before, you know, just just ask him. I mean, the worst we say is no. Um, but he's a very friendly guy, very easy to get hold of. Always answers his emails um, as quick as he can, and I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out. Right now, onto this piece. Um, I need passing on the opportunity of having this from Russ. Um, due to financial issues etc etc but luckily they passed and I was able to afford it now as you can see this is reminiscent of a flask from Terminator 2 where we see Miles Dyson with the broken endo arm and the flask in Cyberdyne systems from the film I'll just show you the name plaque here also it's a little bit simpler than the old ones that Russ has done for the previous chips you know, there's not as much detail in here as as where like the chip originated from, etc., etc. But that's obviously that's already on the previous chips. Um, so you've got you've got the Terminator 2 Judgment Day logo, Cyberdyne Systems logo, T100 CPU chip, and then just Cyberdyne's address on there. Now the stand itself is black powder coated. Very nice. I mean, very classy. I must admit, it's very very classy. Now I'll give on to the actual piece itself. Now this thing here, it weighs a ton. The reason being, it is um, it's fully CNC machined aluminium. It, it, it is fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean the quality in this piece is second to none. As you can see actually into the tube as well. Now one of the awesome things about this is that not only is this completely aluminium along with the end of the tube as well you have the tube itself okay now the glass this is a natural glass tube so obviously to you guys that there can be interested in buying one please be very careful as obviously you, I don't want to don't see you dropping it okay so it just slots nicely back in there nice and easy but say so again that is real glass so just be careful with it it's, it's it's hard to put into words how awesome this is because the craftsmanship on it is fantastic now the the work I've seen Russ do okay it's only been for two of the uh, CPU chips but the work I've seen him do is, is phenomenal and this it's just, just goes to the next level I mean you cannot I don't know it's just I think with it being fully handmade out of aluminium I mean I know obviously there was a uh, a cinema replicas one done Oh, quite a few years ago, I think limited to only 20 pieces. Um, I don't know, I, th I suppose in terms of rarity, perhaps the Cinema Replicas one would be the one to go for because there's only 20 of them made. But then with this one, I believe Russ has, has made no more than 50 of these, and I believe this is even more screen accurate than the Cinema Replicas one. So um, Now, the chip itself I've got in there is not one of Russ's chips. This is just a cheapy cheapy chip I picked off eBay for about five pounds whilst I'm waiting for Russ to uh, produce some more then there'll be one of Russ's chips back in there which I will, I will have painted well now it's also worth noting that Russ does also offer a painting service for the chips um, even though he won't admit it because he doesn't like doing it because it's a bit of a pain in the ass he says but he does offer a painting service for the chips uh, again just email him when you ask him So it's very simple to place a chip in there, um, 
so literally one of the one of the ends will just pop off with the o-rings pop it off place the chip inside it's best to use i mean i've used a bit of blue tack on this one um just to hold it down a bit so a bit of blue tack hold it in place put the lid back on and just slot it down nice and simple easy peasy lemon squeezy as they say I just want to try and show you some more of the detail. I mean, it's, to look at it, it's a very simplistic piece to look at. Um, but then when you consider how this has all been done by hand, you know, CNC machines, you look at it thinking the detail is, is, is immense. It's really good. Now, my only niggles, I mean, I've got two niggles about this. The first one is that, in a way, I wish the plaque would have been made so it was standing up. Um... You know, and facing so when it's on display, I mean, if you look at it this way, when it's on display, you can't really see the plaque, you know. So, I wish in a way that the plaque was facing upwards a little bit, and also it's not numbered. Um, I would like them to be numbered as well, you know, just on the plaque somewhere down here, you know, number whatever out of 50 or whatever, just gives it a bit more exclusivity, if you know what I mean. Um, price wise for this Russ was charging $284 for the flask itself and the base uh, chips were extra and the plaque was an extra $18 but I have to say it is worth every penny this has got to be one of the best things I've ever bought for my collection especially if, if you're a Terminator nerd like me this is an absolute must have Definitely. Um, and also, Russ has asked me to say a big thank you. Uh, asked me to say a big thank you to Aaron and Keith from Premier Fitted Bedrooms for helping him find the uh, rubber fit that go onto the base. So, you guys, Russ says thank you very much. Well, I just want to apologise to Russ for the delay in getting this video review done, um, as I was stupidly lost the uh, charger for my video camera. And I finally found it after two and a half weeks of, of searching for it. So, Russ, sorry this video's review is a bit late, mate. I promise you the next one won't, won't take as long. I mean, there's nothing else really more to say about this other than that, you know, by all means, contact Russ. Again, that's rbreplicas.co.uk on his website. Send him an email. Very friendly guy. He'll help you out. So, any questions, just ask away with him. Um, likewise with me, any more questions, by all means... Put me up on uh, theimportforums.com, that's www.theimportforums.com. Ask away, and I'll be happy to help wherever I can. So, until next time, take it easy, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye!